Let's draw the structure for propyl butanoate. This is an ester. An ester has two parts. One is from the carboxylic acid, which is the parent chain, and the other is from the alcohol, which is the side chain. Now, this 8 here tells us that this is an ester. And this tells us that we have a functional group of C, O, O present. When we draw this functional group, we end up with carbon double bonding oxygen. This is this first carbon and oxygen right here. Carbon having a single bond with this second oxygen right here. Okay, so now we have the functional group drawn in. Let's work on the parent chain. So this butte here tells us that there are four carbons in the longest carbon chain, the parent chain. A trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three. Okay, so let's number the carbons. Remember, the carbon in the functional group is always the first carbon the second carbon, the third carbon, and the fourth carbon. Okay, so we have the parent chain drawn in. Let's work on the side chain, which is propyl, meaning that we have three carbons in the side chain. Okay, so let's do this. Since we are drawing a line structure, we don't really need to draw out this carbon here. So let's get rid of this carbon and the numbers. So this is the structure for propyl butanoate. Remember, the side chain always attaches with this oxygen right here. And the parent chain always attaches with this carbon right here. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe.